All right, what's up guys, MQ10 here. Um, welcome back. Um, if you're still here, uh, thank you. Uh, if you're still, if you left because I haven't uploaded, I understand. But man, yesterday is insane. Wow. So basically, KSI was supposed to have a fight with Alex Wasabi, but Alex Wasabi got injured. So, everybody was thinking, okay, Who's gonna replace Al uh, Alex Wasabi? Some people were thinking Austin McBroom, some people were thinking Dylan Dennis. Hell, some people were thinking finally Jake Paul. Instead of instead of basically waiting another year or so, or two more years for this fucking fight, we thought finally we could get KSI Jake Paul. And Jake Paul was actually willing to fight in the UK. Go down to 180. Fight for free and do it for legacy. And KSI, who look, I'm a big fan, but this was a real L. Like this was kind of bad for what he did. So who does he fight? Swarms. Swarms? Of all the people, it's swarms. Now that was the now this was actually said by JJ in a tweet. Um, because him. KSI and Jake were going back and forth on Twitter and you know JJ had one tweet saying oh basically we had a backup opponent ready in case this did happen so the show will go on without you and I didn't think it would be Swarms honestly I thought it would be Dylan Dennis honestly that fight would have been much better than KSI Alex Wasabi KSI Alex Wasabi was like it was cringe it was like oh we knew it was going to win but it was like, all right, it's like, it's not terrible. But KSI Dylan Dennis would have been very interesting. Instead, he pulls a 180 and decides to fight Swarms. And it's like, really? First of all, we've, seen, we've never seen Swarms fight. Now, if you go on, we've never seen Swarms fight. Second, we don't know if he's a good boxer or not. From what um, KSI's manager said, oh, he's a roadman boxer. He's just a, like, which doesn't make any, like a street fighter, essentially. And basically, they had private beef for a long time. So I'm like, okay, that don't make, that doesn't mean shit. I mean, KSI and Jacob had beef for, like, what, four years? And they're not going to settle in the ring yet? I mean, JJ was kind of, like, basically saying, like, you know, we'll fight on my terms. We're not going to fight yet. And if we are going to fight, we're going to fight at Wembley Stadium. Which, fair play. That's what you want to do. But I'm saying right now, like, you might have just fucked it up, JJ. Jake was right there for you. I understand. Ring, And he explained it in a tweet just right now or, like, hours ago saying, like, I want to prove myself. I've got ring rust, so why would I go in and fight Jake? So da 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 da. But even our, even us, even as a KSI KSI fan, and a lot of our own fans have been critical of him. We're just tr clowning him. People have been clowning him on Twitter. And here's the thing: we know he's gonna win the fight against Swarms. The Swarms has never fought in a real boxing match. He's never won. That's what we're. That's what we're not critical about. What we're critical about is the fact that you go from Alex Wasabi, which we know you're going to be, to a guy we 100% you know you're going to be. At least with Alex Wasabi, okay, he's been in a boxing match. This guy has never been in a boxing match. I don't think he's ever thrown a punch. All this guy does, Swarms, for basically you don't know who Swarms is, uh, he is basically a former partner of JJ. Basically, they did a song called Houdini Together, um, and there's like, and obviously there's a private beef, but man, like you want to talk about just like straight up ridiculousness. And Jake, even on his story was saying like, man, I can't believe KSI's fans are like saying I'm correct. Now, here's the thing. We're still KSI fans. We're just not happy with this move. This was a, as the, as Twitter would like to say, this is a very rare L. This is a very big L. Because, like, the fight was right there in front of you. 
granted it would have been like ter like we you probably would have lost but still and besides we all know what happened if he had taken that fight he would have been like what are you doing JJ you're gonna lose so I mean it was a loser situation but come on swarms swarms oh my gosh it's a bit embarrassing in my opinion at this point like he'll win the fight fair play but it's kind of sad and then Austin McBroom comes in to, is like kind of calling out Jay. He's like, man, you're ducking Jake Paul, man. How are you going to want to fight me? You know, if, you know, if Gid doesn't have his medical car, medical release, medical doesn't get go through because they're supposed to fight Austin McBroom and Nissan Gibb. Um, and if Gibb doesn't pass a medical Monday, there will never be a fight. So that the stars could have aligned from that. But JJ already had a backup opponent set up. But fucking swarms. Really? Come on. And I don't want Jake being like, man, they, they really don't like this guy. And they're saying I'm right. First of all, Jake, you, yeah, you're right. For once. For once, you're fucking right, you dumb fuck. I don't agree with this. I'm still not a fan of you. I'm still not going to go to your fucking side. And JJ, just because we're agreeing with Jake doesn't mean we're, all, we're turning your back on you. We're all fucking snakes. No. You're the one that's been saying your whole life... Oh, I love that my fans are critical and they're on my ass and all that type of stuff. This time you can't... All right? We get it. That's what you want. We're going to be critical of you. So don't you dare in your next fucking video, Reddit video, or Try Not To Laugh video, or probably your next Reddit video, fucking go after us saying, Man, you lot of fucking traitors. You lot of fucking... Man, fuck you lot. If you don't want to be, be a fan of me, fucking unsubscribe. Because you're going to lose subscribers like that. All right, so please don't do that. But yeah, um, I'll put like probably all like the. If you want proof, really, I'll put like at the end of the video, um, all the stuff that the ta all the tweets and stuff, or maybe during throughout the video, like what they've been tweeting at each other, because it's just kind of like, wow. But yeah, this has been your boy MQ10, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Adios.